Yes. Hi, my name is Monica. I'm going to be your nurse today. All right, so I'm just going to close the curtain here real quick. Sure. And I'm going to wash my hands. So what brings you in today? My yearly physical. Do you have any questions or concerns? No. No? Okay. All right. So for uh, identification purposes, I'm just going to check your band here real quick. Can you state your name and your birthday? Alex Hain, November 8th, 1990. And how old are you? 26. Okay. So I'm just going to ask you some questions. It might sound weird, but what day is it today? April 14th, 2017. Okay. And um, what, where are you at? Mergala Hospital. Okay. So, so the patient is um, oriented, um, alert and oriented times three. And um, how do you feel? Pretty good. Good, okay. So his uh, facial expression, his affect, um, and his mood um, appears to be um, normal and appropriate. Uh, his, um, you can tell just by um, how he sits, his posture. Um, he has good posture, he's not slouching. Um, his speech sounds to be coherent and clear. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, ask him a few questions about your medical history. Um, any medical problems, heart problems, lung problems, thyroid, asthma, no, no. never been diagnosed with anything? No. No? Okay. And um, any surgeries? No. No? And any any injuries um, to yourself? Um, my toe. Oh, what happened there? Um, kickball. Okay. I stubbed it. Did you break anything? No. No? Okay. And how long ago was that? Two months. Two months ago? Do you, your, does, does it hurt? No. Okay, so overall in general, zero to ten, what is your pain scale? Zero. Zero? Okay. All right. And um, when was the last time you saw a doctor? Last year. Okay, so so it's, it's been a, it, it is really your your my family. yearly physical. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna ask you a few questions. We're gonna start from head to toe. Okay. Sure. So um, do you have any headaches? No. No. Any um dizziness? Do you get migraines? Nope. No. Okay. And um, any have ever had a vertigo? No. No. Okay. And um, no pain in your head at all. Mm -hmm. Um, anything wrong with your ears? No. Do you have any um hearing loss? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Anything wrong with your eyes? Um, no. Do you have any like blurred vision? Do you wear contacts or glasses? Mm -mm. No. Anything wrong with your nose? No. Anything wrong with your throat? No. No. And do you have any trouble um, swallowing? No. No. Do you get um, like chest um, chest pain? Mm -mm. Heart palpitations? Any um, irregular heartbeat that you know no uh, noticed? No. No. Do you have a hard time breathing? No. During your, like your normal activities and all of that? No. Okay. And um, do you have um, regular bowel movements? Yep. Um, pretty much go at once every other day. Okay. All right, and so um, can you describe the consistency of it for me? It's uh, pretty firm, uh, tan colored. Okay, so no no blood in your stool, um, you're not having diarrhea, constipation, or anything like that. Mm. Okay, so what about your um, urinary um, tract? Um, do you have any um, do you have any problems with um, urinating? Any frequency um, in urinating pain? No. No. Do you have to go more often at night? And no. during the day, no, okay, no odor, no strange odor, no blood, mm -hmm. okay. And so, um, do you have any family medical history? Uh, my dad has high blood pressure. No diabetes, no cancer, anything mm -hmm. like that. Okay. Do you yourself have any allergies? Um, dairy. I try to avoid it. Um, I get kind of gassy. Okay. And I'm not allergic to medication or latex. Mm -hmm. No. And do you take any medications yourself? No. Do you take any vitamins? No. Okay. And um, do you smoke? No. Do you drink? Never. And um, do you any drugs, even in the past? No. No? Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, who do you live with right now? My family. Okay. Do you do you work? Do you go to school? Full-time student. Okay. Are you single, married? Single. Okay. Um, do you, um, are you sexually active? Yes. Yes. And um, it, how many partners have you had? One. One. Is that the same one that you're with right now? Yes. Any history of any type of STD? No. That you know of? No. Okay. Are you practicing safe sex? Yes. All right. And um, so, any um, problems with like your joints? Like any any pains in your joints? Mm -hmm. No. When you move, um, does does anything hurt? Mm, no. Are you able to perform your daily activities like bathing, cleaning, washing? Yeah, working out cooking? seems pretty good too. Okay. So how how's your um, activity level? Um, recently pretty sedentary because of school. Okay. So how often would you say that you you exercise? Once a month. Once a month. Okay. And how's your diet? Um, I try to keep it as balanced as possible. And can you recall the last 24 hours what you ate? Uh, let's see. Uh, in the morning I had like orange juice, toast, um, hash browns and eggs. Uh, in the afternoon I had a burger um, with some french fries and Dr. Pepper. And uh, for dinner I had a steak and a side salad. 
Okay. So no problems eating really. Not really. No, you're on a regular diet. No nausea, or vomiting, or anything like that. Okay. Well, that's good. That's that's really good. <laughs> All right. So now what we're gonna do is then I'm just gonna go ahead and move to the assessment part. Okay. So I'm gonna have you go ahead and you're gonna lean your head forward towards me. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm just palpating your scalp here. Okay. okay. It looks like your scalp and your head um, seems pretty symmetrical. Your scalp doesn't seem like it has any dandruff, no um, infestation, there's no lesions. Um, do you have any pain in your head over here? When no. It's past? No? Okay. The texture of your hair um, seems to be um, normal. It's black, it's shiny. Um, hair is distributed evenly um, on your head, so that's good. All right. And um, so I'm going to have you go ahead and look upwards. I'm going to take a look at your ears. Um, they both appear to be um, equal bilaterally and there's no redness, no drainage, there's no abnormalities that I see in your ears. They're both um, equally aligned and aligned to your eyes, so that's good. All right, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at your eyes. I'm gonna have you keep your face forward, but you're gonna look up for me, okay? So I'm gonna take a look at your conjunctiva, uh, conjunctiva. and so it appears to be pink, so that's good, and your sclera is uh, white, so that's good. Um, we do have a macule on um, the lateral side of um, your left eye. Other than that, the um, the your eyebrows, your eyelids, eyelashes, all of that is um, symmetrical and uh, and looks uh, normal. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to um, check your eyes here real quick. All right. So I'm gonna um, shine a light on your 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 eyes. Okay. So I'm gonna okay. just look at me. And then I'm going to have you follow this pen here. It's a very bright light. It is. Good. So his eyes, um, his pupils are um, ra um, equal, round, and reactive to light, and it's accommodating. Um, this just shows that his, um, his um, cranial nerve uh, number, number six is intact. Okay, and um, so that's good. I am also going to check your nostrils here, okay, to check the patency. You're gonna feel my finger over here. I'm gonna take a nice deep breath and breathe out normally. Good, we're gonna do the other side. Perfect. So both, both nostrils are um, uh, patent. So I'm gonna use this over here. This is gonna be our tongue depressor. All right, so I'm gonna have you go ah. Uh... Oh, sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna push down on your tongue here, and you're gonna say ah again. Ah. Uh, Good. So his uvula um, appears, it's elevated and midline, and I'm gonna test your um, gag reflex, okay? Sorry. Uh. Good, all right. I'm gonna have you go ahead and swallow. Good, so that just shows us that his cranial nerve um, nine and 10 is um, intact. Um, and just based off looking, I could see that his tonsils are um, plus one in size. There's no, um, there's no redness, there's no, there's no drainage. Um, it doesn't look like there's any type of infection going on. Okay, so that's good. So what I'm gonna have you do now is I'm gonna have you go ahead and smile for me. Good, frown. And then I'm gonna have you puff out your cheeks. Good, and I'm gonna have you shut your eyes. Oh, no, squint your eyes really big. Good, and I'm gonna have you um, go ahead and clench your teeth. Good, you're gonna relax, and then you're gonna scrunch up your forehead. Good, and you're gonna open up your eyes, and that just shows that his cranial nerve um, seven is intact. All right, and so I'm gonna have you go ahead and you are going to stick out your tongue, and stick out your tongue for me. Good, so it's nice, pink, and um, moist. Um, I'm gonna have you move up, down, sideways. Good, so they both, um, move, their movements are equal and um, symmetrical. Um, I'm gonna have you go ahead and you are gonna stick your tongue out and then you're gonna, you're gonna repeat after me. You're gonna say, um, light, tight, dynamite. Light, tight, dynamite. Good, so him being able to do that just shows that his cranial nerve um, 12 is intact. Good job. All right, so I'm gonna put this down here real quick. All right. So what I'm gonna do next is um, I am going to palpate for um, his lymph nodes to see if we have any swelling. Um, do you have any tenderness over here? <laughs> no, okay, so that's good. So I don't feel any um, swelling. We don't have any tenderness, um, so that's good. Um, his, nut, his neck um, and his throat appears to be, um, appears to be uh, equal and um, they are both, um, there is no, um, and symmetrical and his throat um, appears to be midline, um, 
And so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at for, um, I'm gonna listen for bruise. So I'm gonna have you go ahead. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna palpate the carotid artery over here, okay? Sure. And then what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna listen, I'm gonna have you go ahead and take a nice, nice deep breath for me and hold. Good, relax. And then we're gonna do this on the other side. Take a nice deep breath and hold. Good. All right, so no breweries present. All right, and so now what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna have you go ahead and lay down for me, okay? Good, all right, so while he's laying down, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and look at his overall skin um, appearance. So his skin seems to be, um, it's dry and tack. Um, there is no open lesions. Um, I do, um, let's see, I do know um, earlier, even when he was standing, he does have some keloids down um, just up here on his shoulders. Um, where did you get this from? Um, acne. Acne. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you do you keloid very easily? Kind of. Yeah. Okay. Um, other than that, there is no swelling um, noted. Um, he looks very hydrated. Um, his there is no tenting in his skin. He does have acne vulgaris. Um, are you doing anything for that right now? Um, no, not really. No. Um, when was the last time you saw a dermatologist? I've never seen Never? It. Uh, is that something that you want to talk to the doctor about today? No. No? I just okay. want to get this done. Okay. So, I mean, he does have that red, redness and the, the acne. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to move over to your abdomen. Okay. All right. So, just from the look of it, um, his contour, um, it, his abdomen is flat, and, um, and, um, but his abdomen is, is symmetrical. And there is no skin lesions. There's no scars. Um, there's no striae. Um, I'm looking now to see if I have any um, pulsation, which I don't see. All right. So then, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to listen for bowel sounds. All right. So I'm going to start off. Where's that? I'm going to start off with um, the lower right quadrant. And if I hear bowel sounds, then I can move forward. If I don't, then I, I can wait up to five minutes. And in his case, he does have hyper, hyperactive um, bowel sounds. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to percuss. And so it sounds like predominantly his um, abdomen, we have um, a tympanic um, sound, which is normal. I'm gonna go ahead and lightly palpate, and you tell me if you have any pain or tenderness. Nope. No? Okay. And then we're, now we're gonna do the deep palpation, and what we're doing when we do that deep palpation is um, we're trying to feel if we have any um, swelling of the um, organs. Like if we have any, if we feel, like right here we would be trying to feel for the liver, um, we're going to move over here to see if we feel any of the spleen. Um, I don't feel any masses or lumps. Um, do you have any tenderness or pain as I'm pushing down? No. Nope. No? Okay. So everything here looks within normal limits. All right. So I'm going to put this on down. So since he's laying down, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do the, um, the muscle skeletal system, okay? Sure. So I'm going to have you go ahead. You're just going to keep your legs straight and you're going to lift up your right leg up as high as you can. Good. So then we're going to repeat that on the left leg also. Perfect. Now what we do, I'm going to have you bring your right leg over to your chest. And then you're going to bring your left leg to your chest. Good. And then what we're going to do is then um, I'm going to have you use your, um, um, you're going to keep your leg straight and then you are going to um, um, bring your right leg out to the to left, or uh, right, I'm sorry, and then over to your left as far as possible. Good. And then you're gonna move your um, left leg out to your left, and then move it over to the right as far as possible. Good. And then I'm gonna have you go ahead and bend your knee. I'm gonna um, support your hip and your ankle. I'm gonna have you um, relax your knees and then have it drop inwards and drop outwards. Good, bring it back in. Perfect, I'm gonna come over this way. We're gonna do the same thing. All right. So then go ahead, inwards and then outwards. So you're gonna relax your legs. So it looks like you have um, you have full functions of your um, full range of motions of your lower extremities. I'm gonna have you go ahead and sit on up for me. We're just gonna check for CVA tenderness here. 
and you tell me if you have any pain, okay? No. No? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So I'm gonna have you go ahead and you're gonna sit and face me. All right, so what we're gonna do is now we're gonna test your um, upper body um, range of motion. So you're gonna raise your arms up over your head. Okay. Perfect, and then behind your head. Okay, and then you're going to um, bring your arms all the way backwards for me. Good, and then you're going to bring it to your back. All right, and then go up as high as you can. Perfect. All right, so then, um, so it looks like you have um, good range of motions in your upper body. What I'm going to do is I am going to test for um, the strength. So I'm going to have you go ahead and look to your um, left. Good. Look to your, towards your right. Good. I'm going to have you go um, toward... Um, um, tilt your head towards your left, tilt your head towards your right for me, good. I'm going to have you raise up your shoulders, good. And I'm going to have you um, curl up your arms here for me, and then you're going to bring it towards you, good. And then I'm going to have you go ahead and um, grip my hands, good, real tight, good, perfect. I'm going to have you push down, good. And then I'm going to have you put your arms on forward, and then you, I'm going to push down, but don't let me push down, good. And then I'm going to have you bring it out. We're gonna do the same thing. Perfect. So it looks like he has a plus five um, grading for his uh, uh, upper body uh, strength. Um, and um, everything is bilateral, equal um, in a grip and movement. All right, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna have you, um, actually since you're sitting up, I'm gonna go ahead and test your um, reflexes, okay? So, sure. all right. feels weird. <laughs> Alright, so then just relax. Good. And then that, that was your um, bicep reflex. We're going to do your tricep. We're going to have you just relax your arms here for me. Good. And this side. So then you're just going to relax your arms. Good. Alright. We're going to do your patellar. Patella. really weird. <laughs> right, you have some good reflexes. All right, and this is your uh, Achilles. Good. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. So all your reflexes are plus two, so that's good. I'm going to have you go ahead and you're going to stand up. All right, you're going to put your feet together for me. Um, now what we're going to do, I'm going to have you close your eyes for 20 seconds. We're going to check your Romberg test. Oh, we're going to do a Romberg test, okay? So I'm going to have you go ahead and close your eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good. So your Romberg test is, test is negative, so that's good. I'm going to have you go ahead and you're going to face that way for me, and then you're going to arch backwards. We're going to check the, the, um, the range of motion of your spine. So backwards and you're gonna go back to normal, good. And then I'm gonna have you go ahead and you're gonna lean towards your, your right, lean towards your left, then you're gonna rotate to your, um, to your right, and then rotate towards your left. Good, perfect. I'm gonna have you go ahead and bend forward. All right, like so. So we're just gonna take a look at his spine. Um, um, he has a slight curvature in his spine, which is normal, and it looks like his spine is midline. All right, so I'm going to have you go ahead and you're going to stand back up. And so he, it looks like he has um, a good full, full range of motion of his spine. And just again, his posture is, um, is um, good. Um, he actually um, has really good posture, no slouching noted. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to test your, um, your gait, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to have you go ahead and stand there. All right, so then you're going to walk towards me and walk normally. Perfect, all right, so I'm gonna go over this way, and then you're gonna walk towards me, but you are gonna walk with your heels and toes together. Heels, toes. I can always have a sobriety test. <laughs> all right, so that was great. So we're done, actually, and so okay. you, did, you did good. And so um, do you have any questions, concerns for me? No? no? So other than that, just go ahead and you take a seat. The doctor is gonna be here in just a few minutes, and he'll be here to see you. Thank you. All right, thank you. I'll see you later.